Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Got an unboxing video for you today and it's a new product that I'll be unboxing. But first, you might remember back in 2022 when Jarman sent me this right here. This is the Boondocker. This is one of the first ones that was sent out. So it's kind of, you know, I helped, I helped sort of launch it, I guess you could say. And I love this thing. It's shown up in several of my videos. In fact, one just a couple weeks back. However, Patrick came up with a new one and he calls it the, the Boondocker Elite. And that's what is in this box. So I am so happy about this. Again, uh, Patrick did send this to me for the purposes of unboxing it on my channel. So if that matters to you, it has been disclosed. Okay, here we go. So we've got a box inside of a box. Oh, this is new. So if you look here, he's got this like new tag now and it has body wood and it has maple and sapele and maple is checked. And then it has top wood and it has a choice of spruce, um, sapele mahogany and uh, sapele mahogany is checked. And then it says uh, boondocker, F hole or offset. And offset is checked. And then down here it says tuning style and baritone uke is checked. Again, Patrick called it the boondocker elite. But at the time that I'm unboxing this, it is not yet on their website. So it's a brand new product. It might be by the time you see this video. Uh, wow, he sent me a bunch of stickers. You know I love stickers. And then we've got a little, little piece of literature here. So there we go. And then, oh, another sticker. And then this is clearly the instrument. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, let's get this baby open. Voila. There's the Jarman headstock. It looks very similar to the one on the original Boondocker, um, though it does appear to be a different wood. And let's go, here we go, the big reveal. Whew. Oh, that is cool. Holy moly, look at that. Wow. Wow, that looks great. Okay, so the top is sort of this darker wood, similar in color to the neck, if you can see that. Um, and then, the back is a different wood. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but the fretboard's actually got like kind of a V shape here, and that wood just fits perfectly right there. There's no like ridge, it just fits perfectly. We've got our um, standard fretting here instead of the diatonic fretting. So we do have normal chromatic fretting, whereas we have the diatonic over here on the traditional boondocker, more like a dulcimer or dulcitar, I guess is the right word. We do have a pretty sizable volute up here. Can you see that? It is, it is definitely beefy. And so it, it probably takes a little more tension because of the way that this is tuned. Um, and then again, we see the sort of uh, floating bridge here with the, with the bone saddle. Um, these, uh, what do you call that? String anchors here are staggered on this one. Whereas if you remember on the original Boondocker, they were in a line. So that's kind of a change. But other than that, it looks like the design is very, very similar. It looks like they are almost identical in size. So it should fit in the awesome case that Patrick sent me last year for Christmas. Um, again, we've got four tuners up here on the headstock, just like on the dulcimer version, but we're tuned D, G, B, E. I'm sure it's not in tune yet, it is not. Oh, I didn't notice at first, but it has this little hang tag on it and it says Boondocker Elite on the tag. Hopefully you can see that. And then if you open it, it has the chords. And so these are essentially guitar chords, you know, minus the, um, the E and the A string. It sounds really good. I hope the camera is capturing that. It's got a really nice warm tone, probably due to this mahogany, but you can kind of hear just happening there. It's very resonant. Sounds good. Now, one of the nice things about this DGBE tuning 
is, you know, a lot of your chords, let's say what, this is a C, and this is a D, and this is an E, and this is an F, and this is a G, and then what's an A? A. Okay, so like those all are very similar to the guitar chord shapes if you play a six string guitar. But another thing that's really interesting is if you can play this chord right here. So what I'm doing is a uh, ring finger on the third fret of the lowest string and then middle finger on the second fret of the next lowest string and then I'm pushing down the first fret on the two highest strings. That's a movable chord. So that would be an F or a G or an A or B, or a C, you can move that wherever you want. Those are majors. But you can also do this, and what I'm doing here is I'm doing a ring finger on the third fret of the lowest string, pinky finger on the third fret of the next lowest string, and then second finger and first finger on the two higher strings. Now this is a movable minor chord, so that's an A minor. Wait, no, this would be an A minor, so that'd be an A sharp minor. And then, so this would be a B minor, and a C minor, and a D minor and so on and so forth. So personally, I just really like the way that it sounds with chords. You know, just these open chords like this. Like, uh, listen to something like this. So that was an unboxing quick little uh, review, some sound samples on the new uh, Boondocker Elite from Jaraman. So now, first things first, I really want to thank Patrick for, you know, the collaboration with my channel, sending me this, and of course this one over here. And I really like these things. They are super fun to uh, to play, and because of their kind of light uh, shape and everything, they are really easy to take with you. And again, the case makes it very easy, and this one does fit in the case, as does this one. So, very cool. Now, at the time that I'm filming this, uh, Patrick does not yet have this on his website, so I can't tell you what the price is going to be, but if we go by the price range, on this one I think these are in like the 180 to 350 price range depending on which you know woods you're using if he does uh, get that link up I will go ahead and put it in the description below but as of now I think this is the only official one though he did say he he came up with this during the festival season so maybe there might be a couple prototypes out there you'll be able to get these at jarman.com once they are available but I really thank you for tuning in today and again thanks to Patrick if you like what I do on this channel I would really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button if you like this video I'd really really love it if you would hit that like button because that really does help out the channel. I didn't really realize until recently how much that does change your metrics. So that would be appreciated if you could do that. And of course, I'll be back with another video soon.